Now that y'all are at this point where most everything done done, most everything done done, how does it make each one of y'all feel to be here at this point, given where you started from, the way the building was when you first set out? I feel great. great. Because we are, we have put back a, a, a relic, a relic that was almost, I mean, a historic edifice mm -hmm. that was nearly destroyed by the, by the weather mm -hmm. and the, uh, by nature. Mm -hmm. And we were able to restore it mm -hmm. and put it back. Mm -hmm. And the, the, the effort that we got from the community, the, the, the effort that we got from the community all over, mm -hmm. it was tremendous. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I feel great about this, mm -hmm. this effort. Mm -hmm. Uh, I'm extremely um, happy because uh, there were times when the members had some doubt that um, it was impossible for us to uh, refurbish this building. So uh, when they see the building in the condition that they are not all be getting is just compliment, very highly compliment. And I'm happy to have been um, a part of this, especially working with these guys and also the guy that did the work. and our white brothers and sisters who have this. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. This to me is twofold, inspirational and educational. Like I told you, I feel the spirits of my grandfather calling me. Mm -hmm. And I feel so good about having to answer to him and tell him, you know, we've done it. Mm -hmm. And an educational, educational side of everything, I want to educate the world what we've done here today. Mm -hmm. Everybody knows that not only the contributions of African Americans here on Saudi Arabia, but all of the United States, all over the world. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, starting from the point where the building was, you know, a dilapidated building, and the and, and all the work that we had to put into it, mm -hmm. you know, from straightening the building up, raising it, and, and uh, you know, gutting it out, and do the total restoration, I said we finally see the light at the end of the tunnel after all of that time, mm -hmm. finally. Mm -hmm. yeah. And definitely, it's a very bright light because this right. seems like this is going to be as bright as the lighthouse at Morris Island. Yeah, in terms of being a drawing point yeah. for folks yeah. and really shedding more light on our story yeah. and as you say and on the American story yeah, yeah. and I think it's such a prime time I always believe in divine timing yeah. and that God has better timing than any human being yeah. ever yeah. could yeah. imagine yeah. and <clears throat> there you go and yeah. so here it is it is the sesquicentennial of the US Civil War yeah. that you had the opportunity to be opening the doors again yeah. to this outstanding in place and space that so many people fought for, that their blood, sweat, and tears is literally in every board of the building. And when y'all talked about the foundation, truly the foundation had to be solid. The community foundation had to be solid for y'all to be all these generations later even caring about this. And then much less, I know on Saturday, especially for you, my brother, that you say you feel your grandfather's spirit now. I can only imagine the power that you're going to feel on Saturday stepping onto the ground over here for the battle. Yeah. To actually reenact the battle because to have all this time later a story told that people don't read about. That's right. It's not in the history books. It's not in South Carolina history. It's not in U.S. history. Yeah. And yet such a significant part of this year's sesquicentennial. Yeah. And so I think it is outstanding and I'm sure it was divinely ordered yeah. that now would be the time that y'all could shed this light to the world. And so what is it, I know someone mentioned earlier about getting the younger people involved yeah. and that you have that opportunity now to get the younger people involved. On Saturday, are you going to have any of the young people involved in any of the activities that are going on? And after Saturday, what are you planning? Are you going back to the picture shows yeah. for the churn, you know, or anything like that? Oh yeah, definitely. We definitely have the young kids involved on Saturday. We have them out here actually doing some of the work for us. Mm -hmm. So they can start from the ground level and work up and see where we have gone and where we come from. We also do things like storytelling. We we also want to do um, live theater storytelling here in front of us. Just like we're sitting right here right mm -hmm. now. We're sitting here to do actual storytelling about events that occurred. Right. How it's part of history. Mm -hmm. We have we already had the school the school tours coming out. Mm -hmm. uh, so they can see and at least get some insight as to what we are and what we want to do okay. here at the Farmers Lodge. And yes, the kids will play a very influential part of moving forward with this project. Right. Okay. Also, um, when we 
when we go back to start having meetings in here, yeah. we are going to um, open our books to young people and hopefully get some young men, uh, men and women uh, into the Lord. So that is our intention to um, let them know that you know, they're welcome. And we're going to encourage them to come in while they're young. That's a lot excellent. of lodges that I've been in are two-story buildings, mm -hmm. but now they usually have it set up where the lower floor is for a particular thing and the upper floor is for something else. Was that the case here? That's right. Okay. This is the museum part, the Lord meeting is upstairs. All right. And so that's the way it was originally. Before, what was it? Well, actually, they, this was mostly the community activity down part down here. Down here. We had the movies and different things down here. Right. But um, they always been... The Lord meeting always been upstairs. Upstairs. Yeah, yeah. All right. And so that way you'll continue right. on with that aspect. So still the community will gather in here by coming through the museum right. and having the meetings and being educated and so on. And then your meetings will still be right. in the upper room. Yeah. <laughs> they'll call the it an upper, upper room. room. In the, in the room upper room. room. <laughs> yes. We got everything laid out up there now as to where what station supposed to be where. Okay. So if you want to just take a picture of that and uh, oh yeah, yeah. Yes. I would love to do that. I would okay. love to do that. Okay. Now let me ask one other thing before we go upstairs, is with I mean, you mentioned earlier yes. the date of the original battle is actually in July. Yes, sir. Right. So what made you choose now this weekend to be the day to open up? Well, uh, well, well, what well, it was twofold. Uh, number one. We try to get it as close to the two-year anniversary as we can to the restoration of the building. We actually started. We started in March. Okay. We couldn't make that original date, so we put it to April 16th. Another reason why the Palmetto Trust was also said they, that time date was free for them to come in and uh, give us that award. Okay. So we put that in the mix. Mm -hmm. And another reason I want to do the a battle of Solid Green Island on that particular date. So that all the people that we have out here that particular day, we can educate them to that battle and more people will leave here knowing that there was actually a battle here that preceded the assault of Barry Wagner, which was the Battle of Solid Green Island. Solid Green. So in July, like y'all had the July 4th celebrations and yeah. then the date for this battle yes. isn't too far off from that. So in July, are you going to do something else? Well, what we did, what we did it now, we kind of deemed this place the 54th house as well, because the Massachusetts 54th Company I Regiment here out of Charleston, South Carolina, meets here. So we call it the 54th house as well. And what we've done in the last couple of years is we meet here prior to our uh, voyage over to Morris Island. Three, Initially, right. we used to go over to, we used to leave from Fort Sumter at the time. But yeah. now we bring our here, leave from Backman Seafood, and go that route, and that's more of an original route. Oh, that the guys yes. took when they left here. The and we got a kind of two already set up to do that. Yes. Oh, excellent. The guy too with Paul Henning. Right. Yes. Yes. So you have that already set. Yes. Outstanding. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Because we always put the information out to our folks whenever yes. you have the event every summer with the yes, 54th Mass. Yes. So it's interesting you all have now recharted those waters. Exactly. As we talked about earlier. Exactly. It's <laughs> crossing now over there. part of the big plan. Okay. <laughs> to bring it here so they can see the original, with the original people, we're trying to tell black history now. Right. We all will listen to the white man perspective. Mm -hmm. Now we're telling from the black perspective. Right. And in a lot of ways, the black perspective is more the true perspective of how, how the thing is. How it happened. happened. It's, inclusive. it's, it's inclusive. Right. Our story. Our story. His story. Right. And now yeah. it's our story. Hello. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. And, and people often wonder why they hear me say that, especially yeah. on Gullah Get Your TV. Yeah. You'll hear me say this the other we story, we uh, our story. Because yeah. he done tell his story yeah. too long and we even did it. Yeah. Okay. So we this other we on. We did. All right. All right, yeah, so this is outstanding. So now, on beyond Saturday, yes, you have July that you have this activity, yes. but what is it that, let's just say, on any given day, someone came on James Island and they stopped somewhere else and they said, Well, have you ever been to the Farmer's Lodge? Mm -hmm. and then they went on, told them where to come, and they came down Solid Degree Road and they came here. What would a person be able to do on any given day after Saturday? Well, that's uh, right now we uh, have to be by appointment only okay. because we don't have the funds to open up fully the way we like to have it when we have a staff and someone here you know, all the time. We don't have that as of yet. Mm -hmm. And so if someone wants to be, be, uh, get a, get, be come cool. here, to, then they have to make an appointment. Right. Now, how would they go about making an appointment? How would they contact you? Well, we have a, we have a, a website and an email address. All right. And they can call the number they can call to contact us. Okay. We'll be more than happy. As a matter of fact, 
We mentioned Paul Hedges' tour. His tour, the highlight of his tour was when he comes out and he takes the people to all the other museums around the area on James Island. And then he comes here and we get very interactive because we dress out in all garb, we educate them in the 54th, we tell stories, we put them in the encampment, and we, and we give them gullah gullah food. And yeah, he wanted to serve mm -hmm. food. Right. But, 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 but by appointment. Right. And he wanted us to prepare some meal that we could make a little money off the food. Absolutely. And like he said, it's our traditional food. Yeah. Our the traditional gullah food. food. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Right. It's, it's so that way you get a full experience. Exactly. Because that's the same thing I do on St. Helena Island. Exactly. We do the exact same thing. Yes, ma'am. Because people need to really get, I like to say, an overstanding yeah. that, because we've been under too long, yes. um, that we have a living culture. Yes. So, like you said, when they get here, it's more interactive. Yes, yes. And when you live this culture, you can make it interactive. Sure, yes. Whereas someone else who's only read it in a book yes. can't give the same energy that all of you can give. Exactly. Each and every one of you has a personal story. You know, I watched Corey as she was watching us talking mm -hmm. and I was laughing in my head because I said no she about going crazy she probably like how crazy are you gonna use this for her show but it's easy for me because I always say to people Gullah Geechee speak in a circle yeah. yes. we cross speak yeah. I say one start the sentence the next one end the sentence the next one pick up the next sentence and the next one end the sentence yeah. and by the end we got a paragraph but all of us contributed to it exactly. yeah. and that's just our culture it is interactive it's it is the circle and it's about bringing people into this circle Right, your point, Jam Solomon. And so I'm glad for Yeti said this your road, so I'll agree. Gonna be the road for take people to the circle okay. and for truth, and that the farmer's lodge could be that clearing when it get there to the circle. Yeah. So, right. me, me thank you, thank you for yeah. all the hundred children. Yeah, but you. join me on <laughs> this show, Gully Get Your TV, and for let me know so much a thing that's still two hours. I know when I come back again, I can learn more and yeah, more, more and more because yeah. y'all can tell me more teeth and story, but come in wild up. <laughs> but, but, you know, um, I came only last year to your um, to the festival. I didn't get a chance to see you because you were so busy. Man, I always busy. I'm busy. And which yeah. one you came to Heritage or Gullah Festival? You came to Gullah Festival? The, not the Gullah Festival. I came to the other one. To Heritage. The Heritage. Yeah. Because Gullah Festival, you might get a chance to talk to me. You might. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> because at least I'm stationary. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm always busy for the Gullah Festival. Yeah. Yeah. Which is Memorial Day weekend. Yeah. Last yeah. weekend in May. So yeah, y'all need to come on down. Yeah. And then the next time y'all have stuff up here, let me know sooner. Yeah, all right. No so that that way I can come up. But I would love to be able to come up here and do some presentations too. Yeah, for you. Yeah, yeah. 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 get your presentations. That, um, I think for all of us, we say we want to definitely thank you, Queen, for coming out today yeah, and yeah. catching our story. Yeah. Oh, thank no you for problem. The ball, ball oh, yeah. ain't no problem. I, I love y'all. And this is so outstanding. I mean, I could just shout y'all, just say, no, I try to keep my myself calm um, but, but I could definitely do a shout around the whole property and it was such a blessing to get here before everyone else did it before he even knew I was outside yeah because there was so much peace yeah you know and I could just really feel the energy of all the folks I felt a lot like this picture here yeah. it was like when I, that's why when you pointed to this picture to me I went oh my goodness yeah. because it was like I could feel them shouting yeah. in the front yard yeah. you know it was yeah. like they were just standing with me and when I went over to the to the um, to stand over there by the little cart mm -hmm. and took some images I could just feel that energy yes, it was like and everyone was still here yes, and so I'm sure you know God doesn't smile upon me yes, but I so glad it asked us to say thank God for them children thank God they yes, forget yes, they yes, forget yes, yes, you know yes. because a lot of times people will say Black folks don't stick together, mm -hmm. but it's obvious you had to. That's right. Because you have an organization that's continuously operating from 1906 yes, to 2011, mm -hmm. continuously. Would that mean without a break? Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. And so that meant the circle was unbroken. Circle was right. And so you know we shout, we shout in the circle. And so it is such a blessing to be in here and that is shouting time and I'm glad I had this time instead of being here Saturday. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, because this is the family. Yes, ma'am. You know, and it's really a blessing to me. This ain't this ain't gonna be the but last time wanna see me young. I hope not. Y'all right. see somebody to sit on the porch and think don't yeah. call no police sit. <laughs> oh that a queen over there dead. Sit down. <laughs> <Definitely>. <laughs> so yeah, the 
because this this is fabulous and I'm so glad and, and glad to be able to tell people about the place. Y'all have brochures made up already? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, you, you do? Yes, ma okay, so y'all got to make sure to give me some I will. so okay. I can pass them out in this way. I'll definitely get the email and all that. We'll put it up on the screen okay. so folks will know how to get in touch. And so I know a lot of hunter children who've been watching the show who know my voice. Y'all ain't seen me on the camera, but y'all know this year the Queen Quet. Coming to Hunter Chiller from the Gullah Geechee Nation, right up on Jack's Island. And we're so glad for day you in the farmer lodge and things like that. And Hunter Chiller know this year the work going on. Yeah, Peace yeah. and blessing to all the Hunter Chiller and children. You got to come here and shout with Wheel Lee Wall. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Queen. Oh, Amen. Thank you. Sure, go away, go away, hallelujah, when I lay my burden down. Go away, go away.